All right, guys, I figured I'd take a quick minute and get y'all caught up on the FDR X7. Kind of just been working on this thing, getting stuff knocked out, but give y'all a quick look at the way it looks right now before we do anything else. Hadn't really done anything to it since I drove it to Formula Drift. But like I said, I know y'all didn't get a good look at it then, so I'll take a moment, get y'all caught up, and get to see where the car is right now before I do anything else with it. But as far as body work goes, um, I did manage to get this dent out right back here. Um, still a little wavy, but a whole lot better than what it was. Had that big karate chop right there. I did attempt to buff the car a little bit. Still kind of faded. I think one more pass, it should be... A whole lot better not try I know it's not gonna be perfect but just trying to improve on what I have and I don't know what I'm gonna do about this thing I wish I would have tried to knock that out a little bit before I put the interior in but that looks like a, a professional type fix thing I want to paint the freaking handles because they look pretty rough we got the door panels and everything and uh, these are actually they were 10 I dyed these of course, like I didn't record any of it, but I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, passenger seats, okay. Driver's seat is like trashed. All this stuff in the back right here is, it was tan, it's been painted. So, didn't really record me dyeing that stuff or painting it, whatever you want to say, but it's supposed to be like, you know, interior dye. Um, because I didn't know if it was going to actually, mainly because I didn't know if it was actually going to hold up or not. So I didn't want to like do it and it looked like trash and then have someone copy that and the car look bad. <laughs> but for some reason, on the vinyl stuff, it turned out pretty good. But on the plastic pieces, uh, not so good. It seems like it rubs off extremely easy. And I relocated the battery to the back because um, I didn't want it in that little cubby up front right there. Just that I want to cut the cubbies up. So my game plan is to get two small batteries that will fit down where the spare tire was and make a little case to hold everything so it'll look really cool. Just got to get to that and get that done. So, and it did have that Bose speaker in the back, but... I'm going to like make these where they'll sit up the way they're supposed to. Eventually I'll do that. I need to go back and like paint all the windshield wiper blades and all that stuff because it's looking pretty bad. Ugh. Like all this stuff right here I kind of want to go through and paint it. I actually bought some new blades. I just need to take it all apart and clean this up which probably I'll do in the next video but as far as the engine goes I really hadn't done anything that you haven't seen already um, do want to hook up uh, the nitrous system on this car just a little bitty little little bit of gap insurance just in case not that I'm gonna try to make this car quick or anything I just want it to work and function correctly uh, I need to get that uh, the wiring specialty wiring harness that way like all my gates and all that stuff will work and the AC that's what I want so that is definitely in the works. I want to do that because I just want this thing to work and drive as Mazda tended just with an LS. <laughs> so a closer look of the engine and everything sitting in the car. Turned out pretty good. Still got to figure out why this little brace right here is bending the bumper down. I think I need to take this to a shop that has a, a brake and can bend this for me a little bit more. I think that's the issue. It's not too bad. Yeah, we'll take it take it down the road real quick. Just because I actually love driving this car. I've drove this thing so much since I've put it got it on the road, it's insane. Let's see if she fires up on key for me. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, sometimes you crank this thing up like I don't know, you can crank it up a thousand times and it'll be perfect and just like one time it'll they want to act kind of stupid. Street and I heard something fall. And I do believe that's what 
fail. So I'm gonna have to get out and move that real quick. I'm not running that over. So I put a lot of miles on it since I've got it on the road. Um, hey, how can you not like it? I mean, just listen to this thing. It's second gear. I'm gonna roll on it just a little bit. <laughs> That's a great sound, guys. I don't care what anyone says. That's a great sound. I love this car. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the LS stuff is just easy. Like I said, I can go to the junkyard, get an engine if I need it. There's plenty of parts everywhere. Like, ah, oh, man, wish I had done this sooner. I can't, I can't. <laughs> like, dead serious, wish I had done it sooner. So, I don't even know if I made a video, of, like, on the dyno or not. Yeah, this thing made, like, 315. That's, that's pretty good for a stock, old, 140,000-mile LS engine, I think. But, I guess everybody's got their opinion. Just because the swap was done really crappy, not because of the 302. I don't want the Ford guys get mad at me. Boom! Let's get out of this old girl real quick. But I've only had like, I've only had one issue since I've done the swap, like the oil pressure sensor on the back of the engine. I've done had two of them mess up, so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm thinking I'm bumping them as I'm installing the engine. The first one was in the white car. It started leaking really bad, and the second one did the same thing. It like started pouring oil down the back of the you know the engine. So not too shabby. Oh yeah, it's a little dirty right now. I need to wash it. And the rear tire looks a little low. That's not cool. I'm pumped, man. I'm really enjoying driving this thing around. It's, it's really cool to have one that, you know, full interior, even though the interior is kind of crappy and, you know, the windows work, radio works, you can hear the radios. I mean, it's like, it's cool to have it actually be a functioning car, I think. But we'll end this with a few little revs, let you guys hear it. that 20B one day, but I ain't mad at myself, let me tell you. Besides my doors, I don't want to shut very good. 
Yeah, I'm surprised after all the years I've had this car, like I've only lost like two, like two interior pieces. The whole entire, well, I didn't probably lose it because half the interior was apart when I got this thing. This little piece right here, I'm missing that. And I'm missing the little piece right there. Oh well. Yeah, all this stuff it takes time especially when you're on a budget like myself but yeah i can't wait to get you know angle kit for the corvette go back for my drift first drift event with an angle kit even slide the fd i'm gonna take it to a drift event that's gonna be fun so it's a lot of stuff i want to do in the future guys and i greatly appreciate you guys sticking around and watching it <laughs> so i hope you'll consider subscribing and you know doing that stupid little bell notification and all that stuff you know the typical thing all the youtubers want you to do but yeah i'm just a guy with a car man and i'm just hoping you'll stick around and watch and share my adventures as i try to do stuff i really can't afford to do or have no business doing <laughs> yeah i greatly appreciate it guys and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching